Hello and welcome to Runkle of the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle, I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. So apparently there's this trend out there of videos called get ready with me videos. They show what you do in the morning, like waking up, your morning routine, any sort of skin or hair care, that kind of thing. And people have asked me to make one. Now, I really don't understand this trend, but I guess I can show you my morning. It's I think it's pretty basic. It's pretty just what everyone else does so um i guess here we go so i wake up after you know a nice restful four hours of sleep still in my pajamas but i like to start things off with a little shot of hot sauce that's the black garlic carolina reaper 250,000 scoville so that helps me wake up and get started with my day once i'm awake it's time to clear the house i do a little sweep to make sure no intruders got in during the night they might be hiding somewhere you know and now it's time to feed the dogs. They get their breakfast. So, Potter gets one, two, three scoops, because he's a big boy. And Zora gets her favorite on Ethernet cable. Next up, it's time for a shower and to change into my clothes for the day. I don't think you need to see that, so we'll just cut to after. So after my shower, I just kind of towel dry. Usually I wouldn't put the shirt on until after all of this, but you know, family friendly. This is a really casual day. I don't have to be in court or anything like that. So I'm just wearing a button down shirt with uh, casual cuff links. These are little, um, little hourglasses just like the roll of law intro so those are kind of fun um, if i had really serious work to do i'd put on business cufflinks instead of these ones so um, just a real casual day um, i don't need to dress up or anything like that uh, i also realized that some of you might have been a little annoyed that i didn't show sort of my shower routine which products i use a lot of people were wondering like how do i keep my hair so um, i'll just show you now uh, I use just as shampoo uh, hops number nine. This stuff is great for clearing out all sorts of grease or gunk or that kind of thing. And uh, for conditioner, I like to use this stuff here. Um, it's got turmeric in it, which is supposed to be great for you. So you just kind of throw that in there and leave it for a bit and then let it rinse out. So um, good stuff. All right, now people wondered sort of what is my routine after that? Well, um, I like to use uh, just, uh, often I'll do a shave with uh, shaving foam and I use like a shaving soap, uh, this with just a little brush here, but sometimes I'm feeling more like doing an oil shave, which um, use sort of an oil to, it works just as well. Uh, so that's what I think I'm going to do today. I'm using the Fly by Jing uh, Sichuan Gold, and um, we'll just throw some of that on. It's just, uh, you know, you can use that as an oil, and then it just uh, allows the, uh, the blade to really uh, sort of do its work. It softens up all of those, uh, all of those little beard hairs and so forth, so... That's what we'll do. Now, because it's an oil, it uh, gets on your hands, so we'll just have to give that a little rinse. Okay, now, uh, once you've got that there, you sort of let it sit for a bit, and then I'm gonna use my sort of favorite shaving implement, uh, which is this. Um, this is a sort of broadsword. Um, it's got a, a moose bone handle, and uh, so yeah, that's how we're, uh, how we're gonna shave here. The other really great thing about using the uh, the pepper oil there as a shaving oil is that it really helps you find any of the little spots that you uh, where you may have nicked yourself, because then you can use uh, then you can just zap them with this thing to sort of stop the bleeding. It's an alum stick. Um, I did pretty well. I'm not feeling any places where I cut myself, but um, so that's a good thing. Um, also helps train you to really make sure that you are are doing a careful job. Now, um, that's not sort of the end of my skincare routine. You just, uh, you know, 
got a shave, so might as well carry on and just do some things to help yourself look great. So I like to apply a little bit of this. This is uh, just whiskey. It's a Japanese whiskey. Um, you don't have to use Japanese whiskey. Um, you know, scotch is great, any of those. Um, if you're in a pinch, you can use something like Jack Daniels, but really you want to use something a little nicer if you can. So you just uh, sort of brush that on there. Now you're going to want to leave that for a minute and then you want to rinse it off. And the reason why is because if you don't, people at the courthouse or on the bus or wherever, they start getting really judgy and you don't need that in your life. So we'll just leave that for a little moment and then we'll just rinse that right off because uh, as I said, you just don't need people making that kind of judgment. Um, it, it is what it is. People can be, people can be judgy. So we'll just... Uh, clear that up a little bit all right so make sure you put the cap back on it because this stuff is uh, you don't want to waste it uh, i also like to uh, at this point usually i'm sort of running out of energy a bit so i'll take another shot of hot sauce this is the uh, the the last dab from uh, the hot ones it's the hottest sauce on their thing so it's pretty good for helping give you that little bit more energy in the morning if you want, you can take a second. There you go. Uh, this stuff is also great if you just want to apply a little bit of that. So we'll just put that on. Let it sit for a bit. And again, you're going to want to let it sit for a moment and then rinse it off. So we'll just... There we go. Rinse that off, but it once again gives you a little tingle, helps you uh, helps you wake up and start your day. All right. Now the next product I like to put on, and this is sort of the last product for my face uh, routine, is this stuff. Now this is an oil that you get from the Elves in Lorien. It costs about eighteen hundred dollars an ounce, so you're going to want to use this a little sparingly. Frankly, I'm starting to suspect that it's just like used fry oil, but I still use it so we're just gonna rub that in and that can just stay on like there's nothing uh, nothing wrong with that so um, this stuff is hard to find but it's it's well worth it all right the last thing I like to do is just some uh, hand care and for that I use this stuff it's uh, habanero mustard so we'll just put a little bit of that on there we go uh, rub that in let it sit for, you know, 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be long. Just give it a little moment here. All right, that's probably enough. Then we'll just rinse that off. So it doesn't have to be a big production to get started in your day. You just, you know, use a few different products um, and you can keep your skin looking great. So. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I guess let's continue on with the day. Lastly, when I've got time, it's nice to have a nice breakfast. So I've got bacon and eggs. Uh, I tried to film making the bacon and eggs, but that was a pain. And hopefully your adults who can figure this out. Uh, put frying pan on hot thing. Put proto food in frying pan. Wait until it's actual food and then remove. It's not super tough. And maybe you'll do a better job because I kind of overcooked that bacon. Uh, this is my own uh, hot sauce, so it's my own brand. It'll be coming out hopefully soon uh, called Everyone Makes Mistakes. We're going to have a little bit of that with it. Um, now, you want to go easy on the hot sauce. I mean, it's an accompaniment to food. It shouldn't take over, so use in moderation, um, especially this hot sauce because it doesn't mess around. So we're just going to have a little bit of hot sauce here and... Uh, I can add more as we go, but uh, I'm not going to film myself eating it because nobody wants to hear me chewing. But um, yeah, that's basically my morning. And then it's off to go do whatever it is I've got to do in the day, which is usually way too many things. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think, but um, that's my morning. Cheers. Almost forgot, I've got to give a shout out to my Patreons here. 
At the $50 level, Traveling Science Man, the CCFR, came, Canada's National Firearms Association, and the Canadian Shooting Sports Association. At the $30 level, Sights and Arms Limited, and Jane Babe and Luxor. And at the $20 level, Lindsay Metcalf, Larry Kalniak, Kyle Fox, Here's a Coin Legal Witcher, Cameron Johnson, Andrew Elsich, Vicky, and Dorky Dane. Thank you as well to my $10 supporters who will be in the crawl immediately following. Thank you for watching. This probably hasn't armed you with knowledge, but hopefully at least somebody got a laugh out of it. See you next time.